back. It's time for another segment. Thanks very much to Barry Moses for that interview and segment that he had with the Jimbo Sons record. Right now we get to get back to what we had earlier on. We were earlier on discussing on fashion, but this time we get to look at it in a different angle. Well, fashion for cancer. Did you know something that apparently is happening for this month? It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I don't know whether you know about it, but now you do. Well, this morning we're joined by a team of young, young people. And I, want to, I almost said young ladies, young people. <laughs> and of course, we want to discuss so much, so much about fashion for cancer. Let me begin, uh, turns up it, let's begin from Cindy. So Cindy, Karibu Sana. Asante Sana. I see that you're wearing something beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I'm, we I, I'm wearing uh -huh. a crown and a uh -huh. stash. All right, so tell us who, <laughs> so Cindy, you are the beauty of Africa International pageant yeah. winner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Beauty of Africa International pageant is a pageant which was held first in Kenya, mm -hmm. but it's an international pageant which usually is held in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So in Kenya we had 37 counties participating. Right. We held it on August 10th and I emerged the winner of this year. Yeah, of right. this year. Right. And I proceeded to Nigeria mm -hmm. where we had the event held on <coughs> October 5th mm -hmm. and again I emerged the winner of the whole Africa. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so and much. And I know that you don't have the, oh, those Nigeria thing. <laughs> no, <laughs> I've not gotten the that. accent yet. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> You're still loading for it. I'm still loading for it. <laughs> All yeah. right, let's go over to the other side. Of course, today we have two beautiful young ladies and of course I want to introduce you as Miss Platinum Credit. Tell yes. us. Um, so my name is Diana Kaecha, mm -hmm. Miss Platinum Credit. Amazing. Uh, Platinum Credit is a microfinance. We usually lend loans, and we are really so uh, we are really interested in CSR giving back to the society. Yes. All right. Now let's go to the man himself, Mark. Welcome to this thing. Thank you. So cool. So calm and collected. <laughs> are you a professor by any chance? <laughs> Not really. Not I hope really. I'll become one. Yeah, <laughs> very soon you'll become one. <laughs> yes. Okay, now let's talk about, you know, you've come with these two beautiful young ladies yes. and you're talking about fashion for cancer. Definitely. You are the, some, some sort of a director, but directors are quite a number of them. Yeah. But you just stand in for the can for fashion for cancer. Lem what is it all about? Uh, my name is Amak mm -hmm. Wandera. I, call, I volunteer with an organization called Breast Cancer Kenya. All right. So Breast Cancer Kenya basically is an NGO that basically looks after cancer care, uh, after cancer patients. So what we have uh, coming up is what we call fashion for cancer. Mm -hmm. Ideally, when people hear about cancer, it becomes a death sentence. Mm -hmm. So we want to bring the other live side of, it's not supposed to be a, a death sentence, so to speak. Mm -hmm. There's life after cancer. Yes. So in that case, we want to use fashion to be able to create awareness <coughs> and tell the people out there that it can be done. Mm -hmm. When you get tested early and it's treated, you can actually come out strong mm -hmm. and looking actually really, really good. Awesome. So th that's the whole idea about uh, fashion for cancer. All right, help me to understand this. What's fashion and then we have cancer? Because oftentimes when you, you're treated or rather diagnosed with cancer, as you have said before, most people tend to think that like it's a death sentence. Yes. And they, sometimes even people say like, I don't want treatment. Let me just yeah. do this yes. in a very swift way. What's the relation? The reason why we picked fashion mm -hmm. uh, for, for the whole idea is basically about self-esteem. So the moment you dress well, you look good, it helps you boost your self-esteem. Mm -hmm. So once you're diagnosed with the cancer, most of the people tend to withdraw from the social life. So your esteem goes down. So the whole idea about using fashion for cancer is basically to bring life back. Mm -hmm. That you're worthy, you come out strong, and your, uh, your confidence goes up. So ideally is when your confidence goes up, you're able to do so much. You can mm -hmm. achieve your dreams and you can do so much. Mm -hmm. So fashion basically is to give mm -hmm. those who come out a second chance to be confident again to feel wealthy again in front of people and be able to do to go back to their normal life. That's why you went for, for fashion. All right, uh, Mark. How many how many groups do you have who, with cancer patients? Currently, we work with uh, a network of organisations mm -hmm. and what we call Kenco, All the right. Kenya Network of Cancer Organisations in Kenya. Cancer or cancer? Cancer. All right. Organisations in Kenya. Mm -hmm. They have thirty four organisations and Breast Cancer Kenya is among them. So you're just uh, a part of the yeah, entire. We are body. part of a whole group. All right, yes. that's so nice. W w why, why choose cancer and not any other? Because anyway, we have uh, quite a number of these cardiovascular diseases mm -hmm. and quite a number of them. Why these? 
uh, as we speak today, mm -hmm. I think there was this issue about we've lost some of our prominent people over cancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, the whole idea is when a prominent person dies, that's when we you know, become really serious about the whole topic and everything. So what we thought about it is we're all affected in one way or another. Mm -hmm. So you have a friend, probably you've lost a friend through, uh, through cancer, either family or a member or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So it's not about the social status mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. It could be you today, it could be the next person tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that we spread the word out there. You need to get checked today. You, we, the people who, are, who have been diagnosed with cancer are not so unique. Yeah. It can get mm -hmm. to to, yeah. to any, any, anybody, mm -hmm. so to right. speak. Uh, and let me, let me come over to you, Cindy. Yes. You, what's the answer that you have for fashion for cancer? I'm actually so excited about this mm -hmm. because uh, I don't think anyone in Kenya has ever incorporated fa fashion and cancer it's before. It's the fashion that we're hearing. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm so excited because at least uh, we are able to showcase mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. fashion and also care about the cancer patients in this event. All right, uh, you, you, you have won already a title, yeah. which by chance happens to be international, yeah, not it's local. It's not local. What, what, do you, what do you plan? You know, it's good to be clear, you know, it's yeah. international. Yeah. You know, these things, uh, they, they come through a lot of challenges. Yeah. But what do you plan to impact towards these cancer patients? Okay, so I be, before winning the international pageant, mm -hmm. I was already working with Mr. Mark. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So we started working long ago, and I'm just in to help the cancer, the cancer patients in mm -hmm. each and any way through the Fashion for Cancer. What, what precisely would you like to say about the side that you have? Sorry? What precisely, which side do you help in? Okay, I do help in, like, buying the kits for oh the right. cancer patients mm -hmm. because we're planning on raising some funds to at least buy care kits for the cancer patients mm -hmm. of course so which mark, mark will be talking about that later on about yeah. the kit yeah. let, let, let me let me come over to you and let me ask you you're also you know having your own title yeah. and it's, it's proud you know <laughs> kill them who are earned by these yeah. everyone earns these uh, some like us yeah. you're just cool you know <laughs> they're playing it safe yeah. what's your main objective for cancer for fashion for cancer um, so, first of all, I'm really excited about this because mm -hmm. uh, I'm really passionate about the human dignity. Yes. So, the, uh, you see the stigma uh, around mm -hmm. the cancer patients. I really like them to live a normal life and see uh, even the loss of hair as kind of another fashion, it's just fashion, mm -hmm. so their lives are normal. So, my objective uh, is to create awareness, first of all. And the youth are one of our main, uh, I think the youth need Raisiku to spread the word. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, we, we're going to spread the word through uh, media, mm -hmm. first of all. So our objective is creating awareness, mm -hmm. visiting uh, patients so that they don't feel alone. All right. And the kids, yeah, we, we need to provide the kids for them. All right, th yeah. there's the word that is revolving around, but before we even talk about the word that is kit, yeah. someone is wondering, like, what's this a kid <laughs> thing about? Yeah. We'll, we'll be talking about that. But le let me ask you, Mark, about the issue of stigmatization, which is quite really affecting most cancer patients. And some of them have even been forced to leave their homes to go and look for other ways to try and leave. Wh wh why would someone stigmatize, or rather, what's the ground? Uh, recently, it was so unfortunate. We mm -hmm. actually lost someone. Mm -hmm. I think it was in Kidurai. The lady realized uh, she had been diagnosed with cancer and she went and took away her life. So that shows you, that tells you something mm -hmm. that uh, the moment someone hears of cancer, they write themselves off. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. They write themselves off. So the whole idea basically is to make sure that the moment you hear cancer, mm -hmm you realize that you, you, you still have a chance mm -hmm. to live a normal life, even after going through, after going through treatment. All right, uh, yeah. and, and let's talk about, pro but probably, probably it would be best to talk about this. Yes. When you're diagnosed with cancer and you're told, well, this is the thing that will be happening, you'll be going through chemo, radiotherapy. Yeah. Yeah. There's so much that happens around even men, well, primarily women. Yeah. They get to lose their hair. There's so much that happens, and yeah. the body destabilizes all of a sudden yeah. because of the drugs and the like. Why now venture into these kits that will be told by Mike? What do you think is something that comes out as unique? 
Okay, I think we venture into the kit just to show them how they're beautiful. They're still beautiful without the hair. They're still beautiful when the skin is not okay. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we just want to show them that cancer is not the end and the side effects of the chemotherapy mm -hmm. and everything they've gone through, it can also just be helped or be solved in one way or another. You can still wear the crown even if you're cancer. Yeah, you can still wear it. <laughs> or some, you cannot write off these things. L let me come back to you, Mike. Mike, probably someone at home is like, he kid, what is this kid thing? Kid thing? It's revolving around each and every one of us. What is this kid thing? Yeah, just to mention, uh, what we call the care kit mm -hmm. basically reflects on what a cancer patient goes through. It's a simple way of painting a picture of what a cancer patient actually goes through right after they are diagnosed mm -hmm. to through to, to treatment. So the kit has a few items mm -hmm. that basically explain the kind of experiences our cancer patients really go through. Mm -hmm. And uh, so to speak, it's not such a smooth ride because now your body sort of adjusts into mm -hmm. uh, due to chemotherapy. So I'll mention a few items probably that are uh, in the kit. So one of the items in the kit is a water bottle. Mm -hmm. And probably guys are wondering why do we need a water bottle? Mm -hmm. The moment you start chemotherapy, you need to rehydrate all the time. So that's why we, we are advocating for the kids to have a, mm -hmm. a, a good quality water bottle. So that so as, pro mm -hmm. as you continue, let's talk about probably just to give a background image to someone who's watching. A kid's like that first aid kit, but now mm -hmm. encompasses now what a yes. cancer patient needs. Exactly. Please proceed. Uh, thank you. Um, besides the water bottle, mm -hmm. uh, we have a wig. So some patients tend to lose their hair mm -hmm. and you realize that what the, the women normally say is without hair and then for them there's no beauty quote in quote. Mm -hmm. As much as we think probably you lose your hair, but mm -hmm. you're still a beautiful person either way. But I want to believe they say beauty comes from the inside. So the wig is just to, you know, <laughs> complement yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. throughout uh, the life. Um, then we have uh, what we call the headphones. I know guys are wondering why would a cancer <laughs> patient need headphones? headphones. Yes. Mm. When you go through chemotherapy, you're put in a certain space where probably you're all alone. And we want to remind you that you can also inspire yourself, mm -hmm. that you have the strength to do this. And we all know that music is really therapeutic. Mm -hmm. So at that moment, when you go for your treatment, mm -hmm. even as the doctors leave you to the treatment, as the chemo goes on, you can probably listen to some really inspiring music right. so that you keep yourself up, keep your spirits up. Mm -hmm. So that's why we need the, the, the headphones mm -hmm. in the kit. Then as you go through chemotherapy, your skin becomes more sensitive. So we also advocate for soft soaps, uh, the ones that don't have a lot of fragrance, mm -hmm. too much perfume, we do away with that. And then we also advocate for, when it, when it comes to matters tea and coffee, we go for tea and coffee that does not have caffeine. All right. So ideally, the moment your blood starts taking in other external components, mm -hmm. then there's so many things that changes. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're really advocating for, for softer, healthier ways of living as mm -hmm. you go through chemotherapy. And then there's something we call, um, we also have the massage sugar, All basically right. to keep you warm, because mm -hmm. sometimes it can really get cold mm -hmm. for our cancer patients. So like we advocate them to continue their normal lives so that even wherever they are, whether they're at workplaces or anything, mm -hmm. wherever they are, they're still able to cover themselves and, you know, continue their normal life. Basically, the care is to help the patient continue with their, their normal life. Good. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank and, you. and I want to come to Diana uh, and ask this, Diana. Uh, she has mentioned quite a number of things. Headphones, earphones, and all these kind of soaps, nini. What do you think should be really the most important thing right after from the time you're told it's chemo it's radio what's that one thing that you say this is paramount as part this time um so for me i think uh there should be a, a talk mm -hmm. before to prepare the cancer patient yes. for this journey mm -hmm. it, it's something you're not used to mm -hmm. it's like a shock you know and you have to now adjust to this new transformation so you have to uh, to talk to the cancer patient or the survivors first, or you talk to them, tell them it's normal, it's a transformation, it's a new phase, and you have to be strong in in in, mm -hmm. in this journey. Yes, yes, and Cindy, Cindy, l l let's l let's have a look at it yes. from now another positive side of it. You know, to make and make like oh, wow, what <laughs> cancer. L let's talk now about you know the fashion day and yeah. all that that you guys are planning. It's coming up in a short while. 
<laughs> looking at you, you start like looking so good. You know, manze crown na yo umeweza. And when <laughs> someone is watching it, watching from home is saying, "Where we mefika? Where we ko apa mi ni kona kanza apa home?" You cannot even understand my situation. Yeah. What would you tell this kind of person? I will tell that kind of person. Such is just a challenge in life which can be easily overcome. It's not the end. Just motivating her from day to day. Mm -hmm. And cancer is treatable when it's oh, recog yeah, when it's recognized in an early stage. And yeah, I'll convince the person that it's okay to right. have that. Yeah, and it's okay to move on with life. Great. Yeah. Mark, yes. tell us about the event that you're planning. Um, basically, the event is going to be a, a fashion affair. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're not coming to have a sad situation. Or know, uh, that yeah, to yeah, to yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> yes, uh, the, the whole idea basically is to tell the world mm -hmm. out there, both the patient, the survivors, the caregivers, and any other person who is really interested in helping us come through, that this is actually really possible. Mm -hmm. Yes. The way Kipchoge did it, <laughs> we are going to do it. We are telling things ourselves with another yeah. one to deny now. Yes. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah, so basically we're telling everyone, come looking good, because mm -hmm. it's, it's an event where we come to feel good. Yes. And that is the whole idea. Mm -hmm. We need our patients, we need our brothers, our sisters to come and actually feel good about themselves. Mm -hmm. That is the whole basic, simple logic about the whole idea. Awesome. Come and feel good. Because when someone is told about cancer, mm -hmm. we say they just think about writing themselves off. Mm -hmm. So what we're telling them is come, dress, feel good. Life has to continue. Oh of course, we're saying something has changed, yes, mm -hmm. but like the way Diana is putting it, embrace the new you. Embrace this new mm -hmm. face, embrace this new journey. And the most important thing we're trying to communicate is you are not alone. Mm -hmm. We're in this together. We will see you through it. We are working with you until the end. We will make sure you get the dignity you deserve. We will make sure you get the best care you deserve and we'll try our best. And that's why we're not doing this alone. Mm -hmm. We are calling upon everyone to come on board and help us give the way Diana is putting it, that dignity that they actually deserve. The garden is coming up this weekend. Yes. Where will it be? Uh, at Colan Cafe. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's where we're going to, to host the gala night mm -hmm. from uh, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Wow, it's an yeah. evening time, you know. Right yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So Puchaka, we're inviting you, but if you <laughs> don't see me. <laughs> probably, probably, probably I might be coming. Probably yes. uh, you, you can tell us uh, how much is it? Uh, the ticket, uh, we're not calling it really a ticket, it's basically mm -hmm. a donation. Yes. Uh, it goes at a thousand shillings. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you are targeting to raise around 500k? Yes. You know, and all, all this amount goes to the cancer patients? Yes, definitely. You know, to go and buy the kids? Yes. Now, who are these kids that you're going to, who, who are these patients? Are they from the same body that you talked about? Mm -hmm. uh, like myself, I come from, uh, I represent Breast Cancer Kenya. Right. But we are a part of a large organization called the Kenco, the Kenya Network of Cancer Organizations. Mm -hmm. Which you mentioned, it's yes, a body. It's a body mm -hmm. with 34 organizations. Mm -hmm. So what we have, each and every organization have their own members. So ideally, not only our members are going to benefit, we are going to share whatever we get with other cancer organizations based on the wow. needs. Okay, I if someone probably is at home and saying, I'd like to just, even if it's just buy that one and come give it in solid cash, how much is it? 6000 Per kit. Per kit. All right, so per kit, it's, a, it's, it's 6K. Yeah. You can, uh, of course, go and donate it. As we are talking about entrepreneurship Tuesday, we're going to yeah. purchase some few things here and there. As okay. you tell our cancer patients, there's still hope. Yes. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yeah. Let's begin because women are the most affected by these. Let's begin from Diana. This is quite something that is really affecting most young ladies. And even some of them we know, they're in the business sector. They're in the marketplace. But when cancer comes, they feel like, as Mark was saying, they feel like it's time now to even keep it low and shut off. What's your word for that? Um, um, okay, first of all, uh, you, okay, you're not used to such diseases. Mm -hmm. Maybe you get malaria, you go to the hospital, you come back. <laughs> but now this is something, we see it as a big deal. Mm -hmm. You're like, now let me just cut myself off. Um, I'm not fit, mm -hmm. I cannot go, cannot go on. So it's good uh, for people to know before mm -hmm. before you, you get uh, you, you get treated early. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying, uh, you what? get treated early. Uh, like breast cancer, there's that check. You usually mm -hmm. told you, you, che you check. Every month you check yourself. And if do there's do any you, do you alarm. Do? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, really? 
<laughs> okay, I learned recently uh -huh. and usually I yeah, I check myself. So you do. Yeah, if there's yeah. any change you you go get checked before it becomes serious. Uh, Cindy, do you? <laughs> yes, I do. I even did it yesterday. Okay. <laughs> Cindy even did it yesterday. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. if as I had asked uh, Diana, what would you say to someone probably who has been done with breast cancer? Okay, I will tell someone who has breast cancer mm -hmm. that uh, breast cancer is a disease like any other, and it's a disease that can be treated at an early stage. And if not, that she is still beautiful, even if she has the breast terminated or what, mm -hmm. that's not what makes a beauty of a person. Mm -hmm. Someone is beautiful from the inside, as Mark said. Yeah. yeah <laughs> so. Awesome. Now, Mark, uh, to normalize, let's call it today now. Mark, give us your parting shot with telling us how can we get to this particular place mm -hmm. and how best can we donate if I may not manage to come to the event? Mm -hmm. Uh, if you allow, I think there's a very important aspect we're really forgetting. Please and me. you've only talked about the women. Mm -hmm. You're forgetting the guys. The, the man, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so we're not different mm -hmm. from them. Mm -hmm. uh, we can also get affected. Breast cancer? Yes. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So uh, we really need also to go mm -hmm. for checkup and also keep on checking on ourselves. But the bottom line is, mm -hmm. we are guys, we have girlfriends, we have sisters, we have wives. Mm -hmm. So please they need us mm -hmm. to do this mm -hmm. uh, yes they might discover something is not really quite mm -hmm. okay with them and keep quiet mm -hmm. so if you realize there's something that is probably not sure. okay kindly reach out to her and talk to her and advise her to actually go and, and support her. be there the most mm -hmm. important is to be there your presence matters yeah so sometimes mm -hmm. you forget about all this you might send the cash and everything mm -hmm. but i think the most important thing is be there mm -hmm. be there when it all happens awesome. that is what counts all right give us a parting shot because of time uh please come we're inviting everyone mm -hmm. probably can look at this camera uh okay uh, we're inviting all of you to come for the fashion for cancer this weekend the 19th from uh, 6 to 10 uh, 10 p.m uh, our tickets are going for a thousand shillings only only if you have any donations that you can you want to make please go to kulan cafe uh our there are our we have a team assigned there you can drop your donations there and we'll be really really grateful right. and lastly i also want to thank our partners we have so many partners who come on board mm -hmm. and then helping us to do this i would love to mention all of them mm -hmm. but kindly forgive in me the the i know some are watching in mm -hmm. the interest of time yes just know we're really grateful mm -hmm. for for coming on board and, and supporting us and uh, also to diana and cindy we also want to thank them and the rest of the team who are, who are actually doing this. We really, and really I bet appreciate it. Volunteered into this. Yes, definitely. Let me let me give you each one of you thirty seconds, just a parting shot. Oh, I want to say thank you so much for Mr. Mark first for starting this because it's actually thinking out of the box to help cancer patients in this manner. Mm -hmm. And also thank you for all the people who are sponsoring us and who are in the team with us. And thank you, Way254. Right. Diana, let's do this. Okay, so uh, first of all, I will thank God for him for and the idea that came. Uh, this is a very noble cause uh, to support uh, the cancer patients. And I would like to tell every person who has been diagnosed with cancer mm -hmm. that there's still life. Just leave it ju and don't look back. Don't think uh, it's, uh, it's something out of the ordinary. It's just a disease like any other. So, yeah, live life. Don't confuse death and life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just awesome. live. Yeah. Thanks very much, Diana. <laughs> are you on any social media platform yes. for the fa for fashion for cancer? Yes. You are. Kindly give us. Uh, apparently, we're only on one, which right. is where we want to focus on right now. We're on mm -hmm. Facebook. Go check uh, Breast Cancer Kenya, mm -hmm. and you'll get all the information there. All right. Yes, Thanks thank very you. much, guys, for making time and being with us today and talking about you know cancer and you know fashion something that is coming up in really huge well many thanks for keeping time and making time for us rather and it's always an honor and a privilege to have you watch one in the morning from seven all through to ten we're not yet done very coming up next so much and yet so much that is ready to unleash well from me it's a very good morning we are back so thanks so very much for coming uh, big up on yourself
Y254. Ima.